Soon channel. I'm Emma and this is So Do Emma. This is where I talk all about fabrics, patterns and my dressmaking kind of journal where I talk all about my makes and my plans. So we're here finally. Um, a couple of weeks ago me and Jess decided, maybe a bit more than a couple of weeks actually, um, but um, Myself and a dress decided to do a collab after me seeing a dress um, discuss a plan on one of our vlogs. I'll link that below. And um, yeah, um, I asked her if I could join in sewing up a mala with her. This is our second collab together, and hopefully, it'll be m one of many more because it's such a joy to sew with Jess. So, um, yeah. We're here. I'm wearing my Marlow, but I'll get in, into that in a minute. So, the Marlow is a pattern by True Bias. Now, I'm a big fan of True Bias. I really like their, um, the block, um, so, and I've tested for them as well. So, I have a little bit of experience with True Bias. Um, it doesn't just fit out the back it many patterns don't and I have to do a little bit of altering because I've got a short back short torso so I have to take out some length normally out of the pattern drafted because it's usually drafted for 5.6 or 5.9 or whatever so yes I'm, I'm, I'm only 5.3 so there we go so the Marlow pattern has two size bands, it's 0 to 18 and 14 to 30. Um, the Marlow pattern is an oversized sweater stroke cardigan in the UK with a drop shoulder, deep neck, a wide band and large buttons. View A is cropped length, view B has patch pockets and hit around mid thigh, that'll be like down there if I don't um, take any ease out of it, any length out of it, so yeah. Um, it can be sewn up in stretch or a non-stretch fabric, weight, non-stretch, I must have missed that, the bindings require at least 20% stretch, um, you can use the same fabric for both or use contrasting fabric, for the bindings. Suggested fabrics include medium weight fabrics such as sweater knit, French terry, sweatshirting, polar fleece, rib knit and bucle. So that's that bubble thing that people rave about in quotes. <laughs> Notions you'll need coordinating thread, stretch sewing machine, yeah, most sewing machines have got a zigzag. <laughs> um, or you can use Maniflex and sew straight stitch, which I did on this one. Um, view A, you'll need three 30mm buttons, or view B, you'll need four of the same size. And optional one yard clear elastic. Now the clear elastic will be going along the shoulder on the inside. And that gives you a bit of more stability. Now this is optional. I tend not to do it, but I have got clear elastic for that intention. This is graded difficulty 2 out of 5. I would say that's advanced beginners kind of notion way. So if you done like a sweater you can do this just take time with the buttonholes and the buttons because this machine might pick up um actually so amelia um has done a really good one of how she hand base knit 
buttonholes into a cardigan, the free Harper cardigan um, from, I can't remember, but it's a free pattern and she puts buttonholes in it and but she hand sew them. Yeah, that's big. Because her machine doesn't like it. But she uses the um, stay tape, so it's washable tape. Um, once you um wash it away after you've done the button holes, so yeah, so yeah, I'll link that video in the below as well because I think it's quite good to see if you haven't already seen it. So, <laughs> so we've done. We've discussed the sizes. We've discussed what fabric. Um, we need and the notions. Um, the size thirty finishes off at a chest of fifty seven and a half inches or one hundred and forty six centimeters. The waist is fifty point five inches or one hundred and twenty eight centimeters, and the hip is fifty nine and a half or one five one centimeters. Now, the finished measurements, garment measurements, are for the hip it's 64 and a half inches or 164 centimeters. Now, that gives you 5 inches of ease from the hip. So, quite, quite nice and roomy. Um, especially for the longer version that's UB. So, for the fabric requirements for the most biggest size, which is size 30, you'll need 2.5 metres or 2.3 yards. Uh, no, shut up. The yards are 2.5 yards or 2.3 metres. Um, and for view B, at 54 inch wide fabric, you'll need three yards or 2.7 meters. Now I think I used one and a half for this one. So quite a big amount saved but I still got loads left. Um, and I'm actually in the middle of doing a longer version in this one and I must have just used about two meters so yeah if you're gonna make this up I would just do a floor pan of yourself because you'll save yourself some dosh and um, not have like loads left over um, of fabric that might not match with anything else. Sorry, that was my finger touching the microphone. So, what size is the dies sew up? Well, I started with a 22 on my chest to a hip of 30. So, what I did was I just graded out from my chest and then graded out to the hips using a French curve, it's really easy to do, I find, um, and it seems to work for me. I actually um, took two inches of the length out, so I just did a fold at the shortened length line, and that was me. I found the instructions really easy to follow. I did the easy beginner method, um, I'll probably be doing the same on the longer version and then I might try the advanced method. Um, yeah, there's uh, instructions on how to do stitching different ways. But um, I went opted for the quick and easiest, probably not cleanest on the inside, but um, yeah, it seems to work. Um, I use the shade of Mariflex thread. You can probably just see it's got a tiny amount of um, 
stretch there. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> um, we love that today. Um, but yeah, and no problems at all. And I used super stretch needles. Did the job on my sewing machine. Um, Overlock has been fun about cutting the like edge of the fabric off when it's done the stitching. So I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna have to change the blade again. It definitely probably needs a service. Definitely needs a service. Um, it's not had a service since I bought it, and that was maybe over four. Definitely over four or five years ago. So yeah. So it's probably really needing the service. So I'll have to get that done. But sewing machine got a Janome DKS30 limited edition. No problem at all. So I think I should have put some stay tape on the button placket to just give it a bit more grip. But I didn't. I didn't even put a knit interfacing on either, which I should have. But um yeah, I kind of skipped steps, but I learned from that one, I think. So I'm going to dig out my knit interfacing for this one because I think the sewing machine might just might um struggle with this one for the buttonholes. Um, but it seems to be doing fine with the. White matter flights thread doing that, so I'm on the pocket section, the longer length than that one. So, hopefully, I'll get that finished in the next week because I think it will go quite nice. There's a few things in my wardrobe already. What fabric I use? Well, this came from First for Fabrics. Now, I think this was the start of the pandemic. I saw them have it on maybe Instagram or something. And they showed it off and I think people rushed to buy it because it sold out quite quickly. Now it's a beautiful stuff of stuff of Denmark. Um a fleece jersey. Absolutely gorgeous. I think originally I was going to make a jumper out of this, but I decided to make the Marlow. <laughs> And I'm quite pleased with that. I've also matched up some pigeon machine buttons. And yeah, I'm really quite happy. It's a lovely length, just um, crop length. So it stops just above my hips. I'm trying to think, think to see as well. So yeah, really happy with the size that I did. So that was a 22 um, on the sleeves, chest, and then out onto the 28 hip and I've done the same as the longer length as well so I hope I can show you that once I've done it hopefully in the next week um fingers crossed if nothing goes anywhere I think this week's going to be busy <laughs> but yeah um I hope you've enjoyed this video if you haven't already go and watch Jessie's um Marlow vlog um, I'm sure she's got a few things to say about it. Um, I have seen a sneak peek on Jessie's Instagram and her Marla looks absolutely divine. Yeah. Would I recommend this pattern? Yes, I would. Um, it's nice and easy. I would just go caution when you're doing the buttons, like I said before. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's got a nice amount of views in the sleeves. And, um, yeah, um, I would like to maybe do a sweater knit or even a fleece sweater again. But maybe try and get some matching um, ribbing because I think that would work quite nicely. Yeah, already thinking about five more marbles yeah um and i'm hoping to cut out another one as well so watch this space i think i might get some cream ribbing cuffing for that 
or some maybe red oh I'm giving out rives here but yes um, that's me I'm gonna go now Um, but I hope you have a lovely week um, I'm hoping to come back on with another vlog later on in the week Um, but that's up to you what you decide for it is <laughs> take care have fun happy bobbins and um Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye, my son. Feet step over splinters of the moon.